I'm Michelle Ali Marati with Truth to Tell Community Connections, and it's May Day, May 1st, and we're here in downtown St. Paul at the Central Presbyterian Church for a workers' march uh, for undocumented workers fighting for policy reform. And uh, we're going to hear some personal stories a little later, but we're about to start marching with these folks in the snow, so stay with us. <laughs> A lot of people use the word illegal to describe people like myself who have no proper documentation, but no human being is illegal. Undocumented, however, yes, I used to not have a social security number, I used to not have a driver's license, I used to not have a work authorization card. That's what it really means to be undocumented. <laughs> Buscando oportunidades para nosotros y nuestros hijos. We're contributing families, and all that we want is a better life for us and our children. I knew that education was, in a way, my safe haven, so that one day, if immigration reform happened, I'd be prepared to take a very good job. If I was just legal in the U.S., then, you know, I would have, I'm sure I would have been an RN by now, probably would be in medical school. I discovered that social work is about social justice. It's about, you know, advocating for people and, and radical change within the system. And so when I found that, um, I just knew that social work was the, the profession for me. Given that undocumented immigrants do not qualify for financial aid, I knew that it was either going to be through working or private scholarships or my family. Community college, it's very limited to how much I can afford on my own, and so it's taking me a lot longer. Let's move, cameras. Let's go forward together. I was in jail for two weeks. I was just being put on hold while, you know, I saw a judge with to see what was going to happen with my immigration. And for me, that was enough. I'll just leave if they want me to leave and, you know, use my education, like Obama said, in my country, or what by paper is considered my country. I consider myself an American. Um, I wanted to join the military here, couldn't. Um, I grew up here. I know very little of Mexico. Over the last few years, I've seen the immigration debate grow from only those worthy individuals who have a bachelor's and who may have a master's. And now it's about the unification of families and, and retaining family systems because worthy immigrants are not in a vacuum. We are part of systems, and so to move that dialogue from you know, the low income, the low wor skilled worker to, hey, everybody benefits from immigration reform. There's a bill called Uniting American Families Act. It's there to amend immigration reform to include LGBT citizens uh, being able to sponsor their uh, partners or spouses. That's mostly what I'm involved in. Unless you're a Native American, we're all foreigners. If your family came here ten generations ago, hey, good for you that you didn't have to go through this. If your family would have come here now, there would have been that process. So we've just heard from Daniel and Luis and some of their personal experiences, and now we want to get into some of the policy reform that's coming up in the Minnesota legislature. So we'll turn to our panel up next on Truth to Tell Community Connections. Oh, 